a little loud. It's okay. Everything's okay? It's okay. Can you hear me in the back? Way, way in the back. The guys that are sleeping back there, can you hear me? Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. And everybody up front obviously can hear me, correct? Everybody's good? All right, welcome to Holly, everybody. How are you guys? Are you guys having a good time? Whoa, 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 hold on. Guys, it's Thursday, okay? You're, you're supposed to sound like that on Sunday when you're hungover, you've been sleeping outside, you're sunburnt, you've been rained on. It's Thursday. You guys just got here. Actually, how many people just got here today? How many people got here the day before? How many people got here the day before that? Okay, wow, lots of people showed up on Wednesday. Um, any random Wednesday person, why did you decide to show up on Wednesday? You, you in the red shirt. So stand up, stand up. Why, 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 okay, you in front, you first, why did you show up on Wednesday? Oh, okay, somebody, somebody who showed up on Wednesday, stand up. You, blue, blue striped shirt. Yeah, you. I'm, yes. No, no, no. I'm looking at you. You were pointed out. No, no, not you. Get her to stand up. She was pointed out. Okay. Why, why did you show up on Wednesday? Why did you show up on Wednesday? Yes. Why not? I, I think that's a good answer. Yeah, give a round of applause for that answer. That's a pretty good one. Okay, now another real quick question. How many of you here bought your tickets before they sold out? How many of you guys bought your tickets after they sold out? Okay, wait. Keep, keep your hands up if you bought them after they sold out. How much did you pay? Okay, how much did you pay? Someone, you, someone had their hand up right there. How much did you pay? 200 How much did you pay in the back? Did anybody pay more than 200 who bought late? Nobody? Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Well, I think he's approaching this thing very much from an American angle. Do you like that? That's actually a good question. How many people like that angle, like the goofy American angle? How many people are like, no, no, like different approach? How many of you guys are just asleep? Okay, thank you. At least asleep wins that one. Okay, all right. Um, so... One more. How many of you guys have had, have all of you had dinner already? All of you have eaten? How many of you started drinking before dinner? Define, uh, okay, if you have consumed one alcoholic beverage, if you've consumed one alcoholic beverage, you have begun drinking. Oh, well, that, that's what I was trying to think. Like, who's already started drinking? Okay, all right. Who has plans to drink tonight? Who's going to hold off, like, just for tonight? Just, just let it run, just get their camp set up, everything like that? Oh, come on, guys. Jo 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 get, get, get your party on going on tonight. All right. Um, well, people have stopped filing in the room. Is the speaker hiding somewhere? Oh, there he is. You, you, he was over here, and then he moved over there. All right, everybody, give a big hand for Yoris talking about search engines and censorship. Thank you. Well, good night, everybody. I just want to test my sound for a little bit. Can everybody hear me? Yes? yes? It's good? Thanks. So it's really great to be here. It's kind of like a big party, I guess. I feel relatively comfortable for such a big audience uh, and a big tent. I'm, uh, I'm going to speak about, uh, about search engines and censorship. I'm a researcher at the Institute for Information Law which is a, a research institute at the University of Amsterdam. And I'm conducting a PhD research there about search engines and freedom of expression. So one of the topics that I'm addressing in my thesis is uh, censorship uh, in the context of search engines. And I, like my, my idea for today was to kind of get, give you an idea of, of, uh, of that topic. Probably a lot of people already know a lot about it, but I want to kind of try to broaden your perspective on the search engine censorship a little bit and show some of the more uh, systemic uh, issues that are, uh, are there in this, uh, in this uh, search engine uh, freedom context. So um, 
uh, apart from that, also I'm uh, I'm on the I'm on the board of uh, Bits of Freedom, uh, which has a uh, very exciting news uh, tomorrow. Maybe you already heard about that, and uh, and I'm playing in a band, make music. So to to start with, I wanted to kind of I tried to find some kind of old example of the type of censorship that uh, I think we should maybe. Uh, think about in this search context. And uh, maybe people don't think of this. I think a lot of you probably know this image. Who, who, who doesn't know this uh, image? A lot of people do still. So this is Stalin. And uh, well, it's a famous example of what, what kind of uh, uh, distortions of reality uh, were made uh, with photography in, uh, in, uh, in the USSR. So this was the original picture where uh, someone was there he would, who was killed in uh, 1939 or 1940, and it was later erased from uh, from the picture. Uh, so there's there's actually a lot of uh, a lot of examples of this kind of distortion of reality. So it's, as soon as you start capturing reality in some kind of medium or some kind of make some kind of representation in reality in some kind of medium, that medium uh, becomes very interesting. Uh, to uh, try to distort reality because people they they use photograph uh, they use photography to get a sense of of history to get a sense of what's going on in the world. Uh, by the way, I have a lot of really small letters on the bottom of a lot of slides. They're not meant for you to read, uh, so you can be uh, comfortable about that. But uh, but my idea was that I will post my slides later on, somewhere on, on, on my blog, for instance, probably. And then uh, you can find them and you can go, if you're interested in the stuff that I told, uh, talked about, you can uh, find all those sources which have much more details about this uh, topic. And another thing uh, is that if you want to interrupt me, uh, I hope that it's possible. I hope there is actually a microphone somewhere uh, already present there is. So if you feel like I'm saying something completely wrong, that, or you feel that you have something interesting to add or a question, you should definitely uh, step in and do so. So then 